We are back on Access Carolina. Parents of little kids are always looking for good ways to engage with them without relying on screens, without relying on technology. So we've got a good idea here. We've got Kaylee Clark Reed from Learn Through Play Doh here with yeah. five year old Eva. Welcome to you both. Glad you're here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Um, Eva's diving right in. And as she does, you can go ahead and start playing with that all you want. Um, you make these creative kits to yes. inspire learning with Play-Doh, and they're paired with accessories that are curated to deliver the sensory experience. Um, you launched KCR Crazy Kits because it's what you needed in 2020. <laughs> Tell us about that. Right. So with COVID, all of a sudden, my, home, my husband and I were both working from home. I had to teach 28 to 8-year-olds virtually, and her daycare was closed. So we started doing things like making the Play-Doh and pairing them um, with different accessories that would allow an engaging experience and we didn't have to stick her in front of an iPad yeah. all day. And that's wonderful because you say Play-Doh can be a really excellent tool in independent play. Mm -hmm. That's that's what we need most. Also, uh, you know, there's parent-led learning opportunities in there, but let's start with the independent play. Um, how do you encourage Eva to, to kind of take this on and be her creative self? What are we looking at? At first, all I really do is take the dough out of the jar for her and then she takes over. Uh, you know, Eva, can. what are you doing right now here? I don't want to talk. Okay, that's okay. fair. Well, we're making a, a little bee world here, and I just give her all the tools that she needs to get creative. So, um, you know, she's got the flower, and she this is our bee kit, and she's putting the bees and everything inside of the Play-Doh, and I just give her the space that she needs. Uh, we throw down a mat so it's yeah. not terribly messy, and she does her thing. And it's awesome because everything she needs is right here in this one bag. So in this bee kit, let's put it right in the center so we can see it real well. Yeah. Um, it came with the, the yellow and the petals and the bees and just things where they're creating their own little world. You don't have right. to send them searching through five bins of Play-Doh all over the house. Exactly. Their whole world is, is able to be created right here. Yes. And then while you keep going, what Eva, keep, where are you going to add those? Where are you going to put the black gems? You're gonna hide them. No wrong answer, Play-Doh. <laughs> what are the black gems? Yeah, the black gems are there because bumblebees are yellow and black. black. There you go. Perfect. See, so the, the, the engagement happens the whole time as we as we dive in um, the the benefits. This is uh, encouraging development, cognitive development. Uh, what do you mm -hmm. love about kids and Play-Doh, and and what happens to them when they make this part of the routine? I think that kids just need that opportunity to be creative. So mm -hmm. when they can get their hands in here and and do what they feel led to do with the tools, they're expanding their knowledge base, their their cognitive development, as you said, even their basic math skills, their language skills, all of that is greatly impacted by sensory play yeah. and working on the fine motor skills as you see her kind of practicing moving things around. Absolutely, and if you'll grab the kit beside you, it's an example, yeah. you talk about parent-led learning opportunities, yes. and this kit serves <laughs> as an example of that. What, what's inside of that yeah, one? Yeah, this, this one, yeah, this one is our starter kit, and so yeah. we make um, our kits uh, appropriate for ages three and up, except for this one right here is perfect for little ones under age three. Um, but everything in here is meant to just purposefully uh, create that sensory exercise exploration. Every single tool in here will create a different texture to play with the dough. And as a parent, all I really need to do is just, you know, open the dough, open the jar of dough and pull it out. And um, the kiddos are going to take over. What's with the adventure on this one? Yeah. Um, and we, we can ask guiding questions, right? Uh -huh. So we're kind of looking at this, depending on what skill set the, the child is mm -hmm. at, we can ask, you know. Um, May I? Yeah, of course. And so in this one, this is a world, what do we have with the, uh, we've got a rolling pin, mm -hmm. we've got the blocks. Right, so all the tools that we need to get started. So we can roll it out and we can make a, what is this shape, Eva? A star. A star, great. And who's this buddy we got with us today? You could put him right in this turf. Buzz Lightyear, right. Uh, so we can create a little world for Buzz Lightyear. Very cool. Yeah. And so you're telling me as a mom, you can put this out and you can do the things you need to do around your kitchen for a few minutes. You can yes. uh, you can let Eva's mind go crazy and without exactly. worrying that she's stuck in front of a TV all day is the great right. thing. Right, yeah. We have her in front yep. um, sitting down with us. We can we can chat and, you know, especially with one like the bees kit, that's a good lesson great. in pollination. Well, and, and you make this Play-Doh yourself too. We do. Um, it's really a beautiful kit you put together. Thank you. Um, and it just teaches responsibility because at the end, Eva puts this all away. That's part of her practice too. Right. We Make love that. it last a long time. 